Good morning. It's uh, 7.30. The sun is almost up. It's a good thing about the sunrise being so late. You don't have to wake up at 5 to catch it. Um, and we've camped here in this area. We just came through, basically through a pass through a mountain range. And we can see a lot of uh, military defense installations from um, from Morocco when they were fighting in the 80s against the Polisario here. We're in this whole mountain, there are only a few passes, so they were heavily guarded by Morocco. And um, we're gonna have a look. This uh, house or military installation is still like in really good shape or well also a lot has fall, fallen down but you can still see the walls and there are so many especially uh, smaller huts here very uh, interesting to see and one thing I wanted to show you that I saw Oh. Should be careful, it's a lot of loose rocks. Yeah. Is oh here, look at this. And there's another really cool thing to see here. You see the trench? <laughs> it's still there. It's impressive. They must have dug it out the mountain or... Yeah, it looks like it's dug out and not built up. I'm gonna see if I can go there, but... I uh, have to go down these stairs. That'll look a bit interesting. It's really awesome to explore uh, these old military installations, but uh, some of the guidebook mentioned that even this far north of the Western Sahara, there's still a chance of finding uh, unexploded landmines. I think uh, Moroccan military, well, they also say that they dismantled all of them, but it still feels a little bit eerie to walk here because in this conflict between Morocco and the Polish area, so many landmines. Um, have been used so it's uh yeah it's interesting because it's a a different dynamic than just walking around and exploring uh, old villages uh, as we did many times in Saudi the other interesting thing is that from where we were camped it's absolutely impossible to see this trench on the top of the mountain but I can see our camp very clearly <laughs> Alright, well after about an hour's hike and a nice breakfast, we are ready to leave. It's 9.15, so we did quite well. We're waking up earlier again. <laughs> I guess we're finding another rhythm. Um, today we're gonna follow this uh, track that follows this mountain range where there is a lot of military defense installations. Um, so I think it will be interesting, we hope so. And we will camp somewhere on the way, and then tomorrow we plan to reach uh, Smaga. This is a surprise. We found water in the middle of nowhere. We've been driving along this ridge for the past, I don't know, 50 kilometers? Yeah, 50. And there's been nothing. And all of a the sudden there's water.
in one of the guidebooks we have with us, there was a mention of petroglyphs deep inside this mountain range that we're following. So we decided to head into the mountain range to see if we could find these petroglyphs. We're trying to find rock carvings, but little uh, they are very hard to find. Giraffe here. Um, ostrich. Oh, it's damaged. So we managed to find a few, but it seems like they're uh, scratched on, so to damage them. I don't know if we can find more. So they put a pile of stones next to the rhinoceros. This is an old Spanish military settlement from when Morocco and Spain were fighting for independence in about 56. morning it's uh, nine o'clock nice and early um, we're gonna continue our trek until Smara still about 190 kilometers before we reach uh, the tarmac so we decided we will split that in two um, so we camp somewhere along the track again like, uh, like tonight
quarter to nine in the morning. We're super early today. Um, we're gonna finish our Asa Sma tour. This will be the third day. And today we should reach uh, Smara hopefully a little bit early um, because we've been on the road for a little over a week and uh, we could do some time for washing and other chores. Currently we are at the Yellow Lake and halfway to Yellow Lake there's a big defensive wall built. Look at that. Tata to Smara took us three days. We camped two nights on the way. We reached Smara quite early. The last bit into Smara the landscape was just empty. There's nothing to see and Smara is already quite deep into the Western Sahara or Moroccan Sahara. Uh, we camped early, we did laundry, we enjoyed a dinner at our campsite and we're getting ready to do Smara to Dakhla through the Western Sahara. Stay tuned and watch our video next week where we're gonna show you what driving through the Western Sahara looks like. Thank you for watching our video, thanks for commenting. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you next week.